This is my Google Plus page. I want to share with you a new tool that they have in Google Plus called Communities. You'll see it down here in your left menu bar. And if you click on Communities, you can see all the communities that you belong to. I belong to several. Most of them are teaching related. I've got an unofficial Google certified community. This is a public community and anybody can be a member of it. You don't even have to be a Google certified teacher. So uh, you could check this out. And what's great about communities is uh, all the discussions are threaded around various topics. Before, if you just posted something on your home page, it would go to everyone who's following you. But in communities, we can all gather around different topics. So for example, I've got you know the Google Certified Teachers. Now if I post something in there, I know that everyone who sees the, these posts are gonna be at least somewhat interested in Google and education. I have another community called English Teachers. And here, if I post something here, it's usually going to be about English teacher type stuff. And I know that my other followers who are not teachers or are not English teachers won't see these posts in their stream. Now, this is a public group, so anybody can see my posts by clicking on my profile. And all of those posts will show up, but th these posts will not show up in their stream. And so I think this is great for professional learning communities because we can gather around specific topics. So I have one for English teachers. If I go back to my communities, there's also one for 20% time. So this is for any teachers who are actually using 20% time or genius hour in the classroom. And obviously they don't have to revolve around education. They can be around anything. I belong to a community called Backyard Chickens. I keep chickens in my backyard and here we can post uh, photos, videos, questions about, and then other people who have chickens can uh, respond and answer those sorts of questions. So I think this has a distinct advantage because it's seamless. It's very easy to have a conversation around a topic and it excludes people who are not interested in these given topics. I have a lot of people who follow me who have no interest in my chickens. And so if I then if I post here, I don't have to pollute their stream with my chicken photos or English teacher questions or 20% project ideas. So this is a, a really powerful tool. I think it may be a, a tipping point tool for Google+. One of the killer features for educators in these communities, I think, is going to be private communities. Now, we talked about public communities where we can gather around a specific topic and we won't populate other people's streams with those topics. But you can also create private communities and the owner of that community can moderate who is a member of the community and who's allowed to see posts. So. I belong to a community called Gorilla Learning. And in this post, uh, I, th I don't think I'm gonna be bothering anybody by showing a quick shot of this private community, but only members can see posts in this community. So if I post something here and someone goes to my profile who's not a member of this community, he or she cannot see my post. And the real great application for this, I think is going to be in schools. So if I go back to my communities, I could create a community for my class and only invite members of my class in that community. And now that uh, Google Plus is available for K through 12 domains, we can create a community for the class. Now, a caveat, you must be 13 years old or older to be a part of Google Plus. And if you have a domain where students who are in Google Plus and they're not 13 years old, you could jeopardize the status of that domain. But if you click create a community up here and you make it private and then you can name it and then you can invite people to that community, you can invite students and other teachers to that community, then you can create a uh, really a learning management system in Google+. This would be a great way to share ideas and projects and I think there could be a lot of potential here for a classroom community.